welcome back today with another video this one is going to be brought to you by the company arabella hair but before i get started on all the details please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel already and if you are subscribed to my channel please make sure to turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos showcasing their six by five deep wave wig now this is what it looks like after i have given it a wash I'm gonna get up close it doesn't have any product in it i use my rc moist shampoo and conditioner and i feel like you can tell the waves are still gonna look good i'm gonna make sure to leave some unboxing on either side so you guys can see what the wave pattern looks like straight out of the box but this one is 22 inches in length it is also stated to be 180 percent in density it doesn't come with any combs on the side however it does come with one comb in the back no adjustable strap and you do get the area for the removable elastic band now this unit also comes pre-bleached and also pre-plucked and pre-cut okay that's a lot of pre's going on but this is what the parting space looks like if you have been watching my channel for a while you guys know that i'm gonna always pick a closure over a frontal any day and especially because they make the closure area so big now you can still achieve the frontal look without committing to a frontal it's also a natural black color i don't feel like it's too dark because i can definitely see the hints of brown throughout this it does also come with the removable elastic band i'm gonna go ahead and place this on and i'm gonna tighten it up because it doesn't have an adjustable strap in the back you guys know i have been saying for a long time please put the adjustable strap back even with these like 3d dome type of caps because every head size is not the same and you guys know i have a small head so that is always a struggle for me okay, so this is what the unit looks like on i definitely can tell that i need to go in the front area and put a little bit of my tint spray because it is a bit too light for me I also feel like I'm going to end up just kind of cutting off a little bit more of the lace. Not too much because I feel like they did a good job. As far as the fit goes right now, I tighten up that strap like almost all the way. And it is fitting on my head. It feels very comfortable back here. There's no loose cap going on. There's no bunching up in here. So I'm very, very happy about that. I do want to get into this parting space area. And you can see my cap kind of rippling well the lace part kind of rippling so hopefully once i take it off and put it back on that'll fix itself out but this is the parting space area i feel like they did a good job with bleaching the knots it's really nice and open and you can go all the way over here of course the further over you go you will run into some tracks So yeah, the parting is all good. It's like you go into that parting and then you hit this front area right here. So I'm not gonna have to go in and do any extra plucking because they did a really good job with plucking out this unit. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. I'm gonna add my tint spray and then put a little bit of mousse throughout this hair because this hair texture is like really pretty. And it's nice and soft and I love how full it looks. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove this, get to style it, and then of course I'll be back so you guys can see the final look and also hear my final.
a glueless install, I use my olive oil mousse. I also use some bobby pants on the side just for some extra security because when I did try this on the first time, I noticed that there was like a little bit of a ripple right here. And even though it fits everywhere, I just feel like it needed a little bit more snugness so I went ahead and pulled it on the side and then placed those bobby pins in now you also seen that I did add a little bit of my tint spray at first I thought it was going to come off too dark because I went a little heavy with it but it came out perfect I didn't have to put any powder into the very front of the hairline everything just blended all in when I put my mousse right here I just kind of swooped everything into place and I love the way that it looks really nice and flawless. I also decided to trim off a little bit more of that lace. Now I put a little bit of lighter powder into the parting space area. I love that they bleached the knots. However, I do feel like it's coming off just a tad bit on the oranger side. Cause at first I was like, maybe it's my cap. And I probably could have got away with not putting any powder at all. I feel like for me, that's an easy fix because I can always go in with like my purple shampoo just to kind of tone it down. But for the most part, I'm not mad at it at all. Everything laid down really nice and flat. I took my mousse and just kind of made sure that it was molded down. And then for the hair, I decided to go in with uh, my Garnier Fructis Curl Air Dry Cream. And I love this stuff because it's very lightweight. It's not sticky and I also feel like it just gives it this nice fluffy look towards the ends of the hair you can see some of it like spiraled up right here so when i fluff up my hair i try not to fluff it up too much because i don't want it to come off super frizzy and i also like to keep it you know kind of maintain for a little bit before it starts to get older in with my water bottle and i made sure to drench the hair and then i just put the product in my hand and ran it through first and then i decided to use the comb after so that kind of tells you how easy it was for me to just put the product in i didn't notice a lot of snags going on i also didn't receive a lot of shedding with this unit during the styling process even though this does get the curls really fluffy i feel like you need to be careful and not heavy handed with it because a little bit does go a long way Way. I feel like in this hair texture you know it's really nice but if you decide to go in with a more texture unit like afro kinky curly or a super kinky curly like a tight curl then it's going to probably come off a little bit heavy so you just kind of have to pick and choose what products you want to put in your hair also it took me a little while to diffuse this hair I feel like towards the back like right here is still not fully dry but when I turn around you can't really tell but I can feel it a little bit I wasn't worried about getting it dried down 100%. As long as it's about 85% dry, I'm okay with that because diffusing does take a while. I always tell y'all, if you wanna skip those steps, make sure to style on your mannequin head and I promise you that will save you so much time. The parting space on this unit, I also like how everything is just already ready to wear. I honestly don't, you know, have any cons when it comes to this unit. I'm really happy that it fits my head because y'all know. Your girl be struggling with these large caps, but this one, this one fits perfectly. And I also like the length on this. I feel like it's not doing too much. I also like the density. It doesn't feel heavy on my head. So I think this is, I think this is good. Now, of course, with this texture, you are going to have to maintain it, but I feel like it's not like super high maintenance, but you are going to have to put some work in to make sure that everything is okay. You also wanna make sure to go in with some sleek and shine serum or something that's going to help control frizziness and flyaways. I didn't notice any frizziness at the top of this unit. I'm just noticing a little bit right in this area and I'm not noticing much fly. Let me know what you guys think about this unit. I definitely will say this one is at to cart. If you are feeling this one, I am gonna make sure to leave all the links down below in the description area. Guys, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.